Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I design this Joker poster using Photoshop. Let's get started. So first, this is the shot from Joker 2 poster where I got inspiration from. And with this as a reference, I created this image using Copilot AI. We are going to use this picture for our reference. So I masked out this man and the chair as a separate object so that we can actually paint lights and shadows in a separate way. You can see here the guy as a separate object the cushion and the chair as a separate object let's name the layers to avoid confusions so this is a color palette you will find in the asset links so, so this is the color for our background first let's fill the background with this color choose this color select the background layer alt backspace to fill this layer to fill the layer with any color alt backspace is the shortcut and then after that just hide this chair layer and this cushion layer now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to change this man into joker actually by changing the color of its clothes and accessories to do that just select this man layer create a new layer above this layer and then clip this layer to this man layer to clip this layer you can hold alt in between two layers uh, you will find this icon here this will say that you are going to clip this layer to the below layer whatever you are painting or whatever effects you apply on this above layer it will only affect this below layer so hold alt and then click here to clip this to this below layer so after that what you are going to do is going to select only his clothes first for that i'm going to use this polygon lasso tool take the polygon lasso tool select his clothes as a selection avoid his socks and shoes for now we are going to give separate colors for them you can use any kind of selection tools to make the selection once you have made the selection choose this color here and then press alt backspace to fill this layer now you can see clothes are filled with this color then all you need to do is just change this layers blend mode to color okay see it looks perfectly fine now like the same do for the socks and shoes here but uh, keep them in a separate layers then after you have made a selection choose the socks color and then fill this layer and change its blend mode to color after that create a new layer and then choose this brown color and then fill this shoes with this color now we have added some colors to his clothes and shoes after this we are going to create some joker hat here for that i have this image here use any kind of selection tools here to make a selection of this hat i am using quick selection tool for now in case if your tool is not uh, doing a great job you can actually press 2 to enter the quick mask zone now you can use your brush to make a selection here okay after this just again press q to make it as a selection see now you can press ctrl plus j to duplicate this layer convert this into a smart object and then drag this to your canvas name this as add press ctrl plus g to transform right click and then choose flip horizontal transform its size and place it here after this we need some hair here too for that again duplicate this layer press ctrl plus t move this layer below this area here so first we need to select the top layer and then create a mask for it and then take some brush tool select a soft brown brush and then use its hardness around 55 percentage this will give you a soft edge brush select this mask and then with black as foreground color just hide this area here first okay after this adjust this layer a little and then create a mask for this too take the brush tool and then you can actually paint them as you want here after this create some create a new layer make a selection here and then choose the clone stamp tool hold all to pick samples from here and then just paint in this area this is fine choose some samples from this area and then paint here too since it's all going to be in the dark you, you don't need to actually paint them in a detailed way but it should look decent okay this is fine and then we need to create some uh, rough hair here for that uh, choose this lasso tool and then make a selection like this and then pick samples from here to actually paint this layer for now just paint this in a rough way okay after this i have some grass brushes to choose this brush you can use any kind of brush to create an effect like this changing its orientation using this brush you can actually paint this like hair swings like so after this select all this layer and then press ctrl plus g to put them in a group create a new layer above this group clip this layer to this group and then choose color from here and then press alt backspace to fill this hair and change its blend mode to color you will have this hair in a uniform color after this just select both this layer and then right click and merge layers now you will have this hair as a separate object and then convert them into a smart object before this we have this hair from this original layer so select this man layer create a mask take some brush tool then just using black just hide this after this we are going to add joker face here i have this image for that so use any selection tool to select this face then mask it out convert them into a smart object drag them into your canvas place it above place it below the hair layer and then press ctrl plus g to transform 
zoom out a little bit transform its size look at horizontal and then again transform them try to place them here just try to match this jawline on the nose here you will get a perfect angle so rotate them a little and then just push it a little so zooming out will give you a clarity about how this fits here this is fine right now after adding the face i found this hair area here is absurd so create a new mask select this layer using lasso tool the black as foreground color fill this layer okay now this is fine okay after this we need to erase this original layer's face select this mask of the man layer with the brush tool erase his face okay this is fine and then also create a mask for this joker face so name this layer as face create a mask for it use the brush tool with soft round brush choose the soft round brush and then just add some areas here so after this you can actually enable the chair and the cushion layer now we have made this setup for this poster now we need to make some color corrections and uh, add some lights and shadows to it before that we need to add the light source here so for that create a new layer with the lasso selection tool make a selection around here after making the selection enable the color palette layer choose this color and then fill this layer with this color to make it more realistic we need to add some different shades of color so lock this transparent pixel so take this brush tool and then choose this foreground color change the color to a br much brighter value and then press ok and just paint this top portion of it and then again choose this foreground color now choose a color closer to white just paint some area like this here okay after this convert this layer into a smart object name this as light change its blend mode to linear dots you can actually use a screen or linear dot but i prefer linear dots so change its blend mode to linear dots this is actually a focus light so you need to create an illusion like uh, it is actually hitting the ground so for that put this layer in a group and then create a mask for it then take some soft round brush and then just erase this bottom of this layer by using this soft round brush you are creating an effect like uh, the light is diffusing and it's touching the ground okay this is fine to create an effect like the joker is actually sitting below this light we need to reduce the strength of this light around this area so for that uh, select all these other layers like this chair layer cushion layer and this man layer and then press ctrl plus j to duplicate them and then right click on it choose merge layers this will merge this layer into a single layer now you can use this as a selection just hold ctrl and click on its thumbnail now you got a selection here now go to this light layer and then to create an inverted mask hold alt and then click this mask icon here. Okay, now we have created the inverted mask so after this take any soft round brush and then choose its opacity as 30 percentage and then just do some dabs around here so this is before uh, we have created this mask and before and this is after we have created this mask now you can see through this light after this we are going to add some lights and shadows to this uh, man layer to this chair to his hair and uh, his face also let's focus on his body first so let's choose this man layer and all this uh, bow clip layers and then put them in a group now i'm going to add some lights and shadows to this layer so for that uh, create a new brightness and contrast adjustment layer then clip this layer to this below group this is the body group now choose this brightness and contrast adjustment layer reduce its brightness as you want like this now we need to remove the shadows from certain areas like uh, the shoulders around here and then his knees for that take a brush tool choose the soft round brush and then with a uh, black as foreground color just paint this area and also this area around here just paint around the area like where you think the light will directly hit it okay after this squeeze the brush size a little and then with 20 percent opacity just uh, give a dab here because uh, the light uh, coming from the above will also affect the shoulders a little so after this i'm going to add another brightness and contrast layer to increase the shadows here so create another brightness and contrast adjustment layer clip this to this body layer and reduce its brightness just focus on this area right now is its brightness like this just increase its contrast a little now we are going to invert this mask uh, i'm inverting this mask because i'm going to paint the areas where i want so select this mask and then press ctrl plus i to invert this mask now you can paint wherever you want the shadow to be with a white as foreground color just i'm just painting this with 80 percent around 80 percent opacity okay this is fine and then i'm going to create another brightness and contrast layer to add some light to this layer create a brightness and contrast layer clip this again and then increase its brightness by focusing on this area so let's increase this brightness invert this mask by pressing ctrl plus i take the brush tool the white as foreground color just paint some areas here and here and then here like this okay yeah, you can also remove shadows from this area just choose this below brightness and contrast layer choose black as foreground color 
and then just remove the shadows a little yeah from here on the shocks on the shoes too and here to a little after this let's add some lights and shadows to the hair now select the hair layer go to adjustment layer and create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer click this to this below layer and then reduce its brightness all the way down so this is not enough for me let's again create another brightness and contrast layer click this layer to this below layer and then reduce its brightness see now you can find some hard edges here in that case don't use this brightness and contrast anymore let's uh, use this exposure adjustment layer clip this layer to this below layer and then now reduce its exposure when you are reducing the exposure you are actually removing all the lights out from this image so this will look more darker than the brightness and contrast adjustment layer and then also it will reduce the contrast which will not produce any hard edges here so after this just invert this mask by pressing ctrl plus i then take a brush tool choose some soft round brush and then with around 50 percent opacity just paint around where you want the shadows to be if you find this darkness to be too harsh then just increase the value of this exposure a little okay this is fine let's add some lights and shadows to this face layer let's choose this face layer create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer to it clip this to this below layer and then reduce its brightness like this okay like we did for the hair create another exposure layer rather than the brightness and contrast adjustment layer clip this to this below layer and then reduce its exposure a little Zoom out and looking at your canvas will give you fine clarity about how this looks. Remove some brightness around this front area. With around 30% opacity, with black as foreground color, and just remove the darkness values from here. Alright, this is okay for me. Let's put all these layers and this adjustment layers in separate groups. Select this hair layer, put them in a separate group, and the chair in a separate group, and the body layer and this cushion in a separate group. Okay, now we have all these separate layers. After this, we need to add some light in the ground. So for that, create a new layer above this background layer. Choose a brush tool, take soft front brush, and let's increase its shortness a little. Then change its orientation to look like an ellipse like this. And then with 100% opacity, just give a dab here. After this, uh, we need to add some shadow to this overall uh, joker and this char layer. So to do that, uh, create a new layer again. Choose this polygon lasso tool, and then make a selection like where this shadow will actually affect. Okay, after this, fill this layer with this dark color. Right now, the shadow looks too harsh. Let's convert this into a smart object. And then go to this filter, blur, choose Gaussian blur. Let's increase its blur a little like this. Okay, this is fine. For the floor, I'm going to use this image here. Let's drag this image above the background layer. Let's increase the size. Okay, after this, just use this marquee selection tool and then just selection around this floor. Create a mask for it and then change its blend mode to color dot. After this, let's create a new brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Reduce its brightness a little and increase its contrast. This its brightness. Now select this mask layer. Take any brush tool. It's soft one brush. Black as foreground color. Just soften the edges. You can change the layer color or you can actually desaturate this color to blend with this below layer. Uh, choose this layer and press Ctrl plus U to open Q and saturation and reduce its saturation all over a little. Now you can see it is pretty blended with this below layer. Now select this light layer, light on this ground, right? Now convert this into a smart object. Double click this layer to open its uh, blending options. And then in this blending options, uh, here you can find this blend if options. Remove this light from this darker area like this. After this, hold Alt to split this. You can drag this to create a soft look like this. This will give you an effect like the light is actually hitting the ground uh, by removing the light from the darker areas. If this effect is okay for you, then click OK and then choose this shadow layer, create a mask for it. It's soft on brush, just erase its corner a little bit. So after this, I'm going to add an image here. So this is the image I'm going to add in this light area. So let's drag this image here and then just clip this layer on this light group. Now change its blend mode to luminosity, then create a mask for it. Use a soft on brush to erase the unwanted areas. You can also reduce its fill if you want to make them blend with this light. After this, I'm going to add some blur to this light layer to make it more realistic. Choose this light layer, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur and just add some blur to this layer. I'm going to add another image for the background. So let's drag this image above the background layer. Ctrl plus T to transform. Place this at an exact position where you want. Then change its blend mode to soft light. Create a mask for it and then hide the unwanted area. So now I'm going to add a cigarette to his hand here. Let's create a new group and then using the polygon lasso tool, let's draw a cigarette. Right now, just fill this layer with this white color so that you can actually see this below this light. Or you can just drag this above all this layer 
and then just fill this with a darker atmospheric color like this now reduce the brush size choose this color 30 percent opacity just paint like this and then with a dark color just paint like this now we need to remove this part where the finger is uh, present so rather go to this man layer control and uh, click on its thumbnail to select this uh, and then create an inverted mask for see now it looks like it's on his hand if you find this size to be just dealing this layer on the mask and then select this layer just rotate it and then transform it into whatever size you want and just again dealing this layer let's add a smoke to the cigarette so this is a smoke layer let's add this smoke here okay this is good right now pretty much everything is over all we need to do is just add the text and credits here. so let's add this title here and then this credits here and i'm going to add a camera or filter to this overall composition i'm going to leave this title and the credits layer i'll select all the layer below this including the background layer and then just put them in a group Control plus j to copy the group then right click and choose this merge group option now convert this merge layer into a smart object and then go to filter and then choose camera or filter here you can make the final adjustments of your composition like i'm going to add some exposure then add some contrast to it then increase its highlights a little bit increase its shadows a little bit then remove its white and then adding some black to it now i have done the basic lighting corrections i'm not going to change its temperature i'm just going to add a little grain to this overall composition let's add some texture add some clarity to it and here comes the dehaze option in case if your uh, composition looks foggy or too muddy then you can increase the dehaze or it will remove that uh, fogginess in your poster see i am going to add some amount of grains like this and i look at this difference this is before and this is after you can give a final touch to your composition by using this camera filter use it wisely after this just click ok and then our poster is done So that's it guys this is how i made this joker poster using photoshop i hope you guys liked it i also hope this might be very helpful for many of you guys for a beginner it will be very difficult to keep up with this instructions so i suggest you guys to know more about this masking techniques adjustment layers blend modes and how layers work after you know this basics you can dive into a project like this so if you guys like this video leave a like if you have any questions please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more design content i will get back to you with another awesome design tutorial until then signing off your arrival bye